hello friends welcome back to my channel in this video tutorial i will show you how to fix metal gear solid snake eater game crashing at startup not launching stuck on loading screen lagging freezing black screen or other issues on pc so let's go through it the first method is to check system requirements so you should check the system requirements before you play the game for that go to steam in the store options search for the game and then go below and here you can find the system requirements to play the game on your PC. Make sure you follow the requirements to play the game and after that try to launch the game and check if it resolves the problem. If not, next is to restart PC and Steam. So for that go to Steam, click on Steam option over and then click on exit. Once done, now click on Windows icon over here then click on power and then select restart so after your system restarts now try to launch the game and check if this resolves the problem if not next solution is to modify launch option so for that uh, you have to go to steam where you have downloaded the games under library section select your game here i have not downloaded the game so just follow the steps so after selecting the game right click on it click on properties then under general you need to type minus dx11 and then try to launch the game and check if this resolves the problem if not you simply need to type minus dx12 and after that try to launch the game and check if this solution resolves the issue if not the next method is to check graphic settings of the game so when your graphic settings are not properly set up like texture quality resolution etc then it directly impacts the game so what you need to do is first open graphic settings on the game you need to select windowed mode and from here select between borderless full screen or windowed and after that click on ok after that select high under motion blur after enabling it and also increase resolution to 1920 into 1080 so uh, this has provided the better solution and hopefully uh, whatever the problem you are coming across will fix it if not then move to the next solution the next is to update graphics card so for that go to the search option over here search for device manager now go below expand display adapters select your graphics card right click on it click on update driver and then click on search automatically for drivers so uh, it's saying the best drivers for your device are already installed so if it's uh, saying then it's okay otherwise you simply need to update your graphics card and then try to launch the game and check if it works apart from this the users of nvidia and amd i have provided the link in the description just go through it and download the latest latest graphics card on your pc and then try to launch the game and check if this resolves the problem next is to install the latest patch or update your game so for that you need to go to steam and where you can see the play option here you will find the update option so if there is any update available for the game simply you need to update your game and after that try to play and see if you can play it without any issue next solution is to run game as administrator so for that go to steam under library section select your game right click on it go to manage click on browse local files this will take you to the game folder where it has been installed select the application of your game right click on it click on properties now click on compatibility and then click on run this program as an administrator and then hit on apply and ok so this will hopefully resolve the issue if not then simply select run this program in compatibility mode for select windows 8 or select windows 7 and then hit on apply and ok if it resolves the issue then fine otherwise simply click on disable full screen optimization then hit on apply and ok and after that try to launch the game and check if this resolves the problem if not next is to allow the game through firewall so for that go to the search option over here search for windows defender firewall now click on allow an app click on change settings and here you need to find the app or the game is listed or not if not you simply need to click on allow another app click on browse and then from here you need to simply select the game add it to the list over here and after that select it 
make sure both private and public boxes are ticked and click on ok after that try to launch the game and check if it resolves the problem if not next solution is to update windows so make sure your windows is updated for that go to the search option search for check for updates now here you need to click on check for updates if your windows is updated then it, it's okay otherwise simply click on check for updates and if there is any update available update your windows to the latest version and after that try to launch the game and check if it resolves the problem next is to stop overclock cpu or gpu settings so sometimes overclocking makes the cpu or gpu unstable so you are suggested to check if there is any overclocking of the cpu or gpu in the background if yes then simply stop it and after that try to launch the game and check if the issue is resolved or not next solution is to verify integrity of game files so for that go to steam under library section select your game right click on it click on properties then go to install files and here you need to click on verify integrity of game files so after verifying the game files now try to launch the game and check if it resolves the problem next is to disable in-game overlays so if you are playing the game on steam then go to steam under library section select your game right click on it click on properties and under general uh, this option will be enabled by default enable the steam overlay while in game so you simply need to click on it and it will be disabled and after that try to play the game and check if it works if you uh, if for geforce experience users simply open it click on the gear icon beside that click on general then switch off in game overlay option so after doing this try to launch the game and check if it resolves the problem next is to close unnecessary background tasks so for that uh, go to the search option over here search for task manager open it under processes tab you need to find uh, the apps that is of no use or consuming high resources you simply need to select it after selecting it right click on it click on end task so this will completely close the app or game uh, running in the background and after that try to launch the game and check if it resolves the problem next is to install visual c++ file so for that uh, i have provided the link in the description just copy it and paste it in your browser copy opening it go below and from here you need to download the visual c++ files on your pc and install it and after that try to launch the game and check if this resolves the problem next is to change virtual memory settings so for that uh, uh, first you need to go to search option search for view advanced system settings here you need to click on settings then click on advanced then uh, virtual memory click on change then make sure uh, you disable this and select wherever the game is installed after that click on custom size and here you need to type 24576 in the initial size and maximum size is 49152 so and then click on set and then click on okay so after this try to launch the game and check if it resolves the problem next is to disable antivirus program so if you are having any antivirus program installed in your system then it can interrupt in your gameplay and can lead to unwanted issues somewhere the antivirus programs blocks the game and you cannot play so if it is so then it's suggested to check the settings of that particular program or disable it to play the game without any further problem next solution is to run game on dedicated graphics card so for that go to search option search for graphics settings now here you need to search for the game if it is listed over if not don't worry simply click on add desktop app from here you need to select the game and add it to the list over here after adding it go below wherever your game is listed and now click on the arrow icon under gpu preference you need to select high performance by default it will be selected as let windows decide so simply you need to select high performance and after that try to launch the game and check if it resolves the problem if not the last solution is to reinstall the game so for that go to steam under library section select your game right click on it click on manage then click on uninstall and click on uninstall once again so this will remove the game from your pc completely after that restart your system after restarting launch steam and again reinstall the game that you are playing
after installing try to play the game and check if it's working now without any further problem so these are few suggested solutions that will surely help to fix the game crashing not launching stuck on loading screen lagging freezing or other issues on pc so that's all for now in this video thank you